Hello, this is Stoman from Tech Tips with Stoman. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Carbon Copy Cloner and copying one folder to another folder automatically, say every day, every week, when there are changes made. Reason why you want to do this, say you have important pictures, business documents, things like that, and you want them copied to a second location for backup purposes. So our goal today is we've got this drive called the C Media Drive, and we want to copy all these LR files to this folder. Actually, we're going to do the Lacy Images folder into this second drive called Lacy Image Backup folder. Fairly simple to do. The other advantage of doing it this way is we can actually set where it saves deleted files. If you happen to miss a file, you can go back and get it. So I've got Carbon Copy Cloner here open. I'm going to click on the three lines right here. I'm going to click on New Backup Task. Once I have New Backup Task, we're going to call this and I didn't want it in this folder, but that's okay. We're going to call this the C backup. Image backup. Okay, and I don't want this in the backup task, so I'm going to take this out of the backup task. Save. So now it's not in my backup task. This is what I normally run. This is for demonstration purposes here. So first thing we're going to do is select the source. You can either select it by clicking here and clicking on choose folder, or you can just drag the, the, the folder, the source folder, right into Carbon Copy Cloner. Now next is our destination, and we can do the same thing. We can select this. We'll talk about disk images in one minute, but right now we're going to do a folder. So we're just going to drag this over and drop it right there. Now we have a, a, a source and a destination. We can set a schedule. We can set it to run at a specific time, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, when files are modified on the source, when source or destination is remounted. These two are very powerful options. When files are modified, source would be you copy a file to that Lacy Images folder, it automatically make a second a backup of it to the backup folder, as long as both drives are available, of course. And then when the source destination is remounted, so that would be if you have a backup drive you plugged in once a week, it'll automatically detect that backup drive has been plugged in and it will run the backup. For this particular instance, we're going to do hourly. We're going to set this for every hour, start here. We can um, set conditions, defer of taxes writing. We don't care about that. Limit when the task can run. So if you only want it run during a week or weekend, help system performance. Most people don't have a problem with this anymore. And you can limit the time the system runs too. This will be for bigger tasks. This happens to be a folder, we're not worried about it. And if it misses it, it'll run the next time it's awake. So we're gonna hit done, and now this will run every hour. Now we're gonna talk about safety net here real quick. So what's safety net? Safety net's fairly cool. What we can do, we go into safety net. Safety net is on. And what happens with safety net is it'll copy change files, the old ones say are deleted into a folder for safety net. Now, of course, we're gonna save this and I'm gonna run this real quick and I'm gonna give you an example here. So this will take a second to run. We have about 19 gigs, but we're copying over to a SSD. So this should be fairly quick. Now, as you can tell, we do have an elapsed time and a time remaining with a little checkered flag here. Just as a side note here, I did not change it, but we have a prune safety net. And what this would mean is if the drive starts getting full, you can leave approximately however many gigabytes you want free on the drive, and it'll prune those backup files off as it needs space. So now that we've completed successfully, we see we have that here. So now we have our Lacy Images folder and we go here and we can look in here. There's our LR files and there is all our files that match up in here. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Let's talk a real quick about what safety net is because this is important to show you. So what we're going to do here in safety net is we're actually going to go into the source and say we don't want this folder anymore. So we're going to delete, actually this one has nothing in it. Let's do this one here, this denim folder here. So we're just going to move it to the trash. We deleted the files inside of it. Now what happens, we're going to rerun it. Say we hit the hour and we're going to run it again. And you notice file copies none, we have this. But now, it was really quick of course, but now what we have is this, in this C image backup folder, we have a thing called CC safety net. And what that is, if we drill down, 
Here's the date when it ran, and these are when the files were deleted, and there are our deleted folder. So if we have to restore that, if we need it back, it's in there in the deleted folder. So where the pruning comes, the safety net is, you can have a lot of these depending how many times it runs and how many files you delete and how big your backup gets. So the challenge would be file storage, file space management. So this will automatically manage your store. It's on auto adjust. You can leave it on auto adjust and that will go through and prune the older safety nets if it needs to, to complete a backup on the newer ones. Now, just to go through this one more time, that's what's going on. I'm backing up a particular folder to another folder. Thank you for watching. This is Tech Tips with Stoman. On our next installment, we will talk about backing up a particular folder to what they call a disk image.